Okay, so we're recording in a car because I'm on vacation, but never mind. The Pacers just fired Nate Bjorkman. And this can go one of two ways. One, we become the New York Knicks. We hire a new coach every year, we fire a new coach every year, and all the young talent that we draft, their development gets stunted, and very few become, go on to become serviceable starters. Uh, barely, like probably one maybe, becomes a, a, a good borderline all-star player because we're hiring a new coach every year and a new system is being implemented. And that really can only kind of work for you if you're a veteran and you've been you know, playing in the NBA for a long time. But if you're a young guy and a new system is implemented every year, more often than not, it doesn't work out too well uh, for you even if you're the number one overall draft pick, like the U, the U York Knicks, the New York Knicks. Uh, two, we do hire Terry Stotts, which, now, you know, last year we were supposed to get D'Antoni and we were supposed to be really good because of it, but whatever. We do hire Terry Stotts. He leads us to a 40 or 50 win season, like he did with the Blazers, and Karis LeVert becomes a Damian Lillard of sort. Um... And we get eliminated in the second round, maybe Eastern Conference Finals if we're lucky. And maybe this lottery pick we get becomes an all-star and we win a championship in a few years. That's the best case scenario. But remember last year when we were supposed to get D'Antoni and our coaching staff was supposed to be set and Victor Oladipo should stay, he's not leaving, you know, he's going to be back to his old self, you know, everything was going to be good, and then the Pacers took months of unnecessary testing on coaches, and then we took too long and we couldn't get the top guy that we were supposed to get. I mean, maybe they won't make the same mistake the second time around, but I thought they weren't going to make the same mistakes the second time around when it came to... Um, second round guys that showed promise. I mean, we already made that mistake with Georges Niang, and then we make the same exact mistake with Elias Johnson. Just like how I think, oh, they can't possibly make another drafting mistake like TJ Leaf. Yeah, watch them draft from some tall white dude from UCLA this year with like the 12th or 11th pick in the draft. I don't want them to, but they could. They've repeated mistakes multiple times, and they have the option to repeat mistakes multiple times this year. And usually when the Pacers have a chance to repeat a mistake, they do it. Usually they do it. And we were very unfair to Nate. I mean, when McMillan had all those injuries, we were at least kind of fair to him when he had to deal with uh, multiple injuries in 2019. So why didn't Bjorkman get that same treatment this year? It, it's not logical. It doesn't make any sense. And people saying we shouldn't have hired a rookie head coach. How do you think new head coaches come up? Like, if nobody hired any rookie head coaches, we would just wait until all the current head coaches died. And then they would come in. The rookie guys would come in. You know, it's normal to hire a rookie head coach when you're kind of trying to get a clean slate. I mean, I hope we hire Stotts. I want Stotts. He's led the Blazers to multiple 40 and 50 win seasons, and they're better than Nate McMillan in the playoffs. Usually, Portland like went to the second round, and for a few years, I'll take that if we can improve upon it and maybe reach an Eastern Conference Finals. You know, we just need to continue improving and not stay stagnant like we've done. But, I don't know. We, we were supposed to get D'Antoni. That's all I, I, I can think of. We were supposed to get D'Antoni. We were supposed to get a good coach. And then the Pacers choked. And we're stupid. So that could definitely happen a second time around. And if it happens again, 
that rebuilding that you guys wanted that I warned would last longer uh, than you guys think because we don't have the front office to get it done. Well, yeah, we're going to be rebuilding for a while if we go the route of hiring a new head coach every year. If we take too long to hire head coaches, that's the route we're going to go down because we're going to be reaching at the bottom of the barrel to get new head coaches. And we're going to do that every single year. And then that rebuilding that everybody loved, well, uh, I hope you really enjoy it because we're going to get to experience it for 5, 10, 15 years because our front office is stupid and our owner is cheap. So yeah, I hope you guys really like rebuilding. But if we hire a guy like Terry Stotts, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky. It's possible. Why is it shaking? Maybe we get lucky. All right, give me a second. I hope the Pacers get lucky. I hope we don't draft TJ Leaf. But if we don't hire Stotts or someone at the top of the coaching free agency ladder, it's not going to end good for us, at least this next year. It's not going to be good. See you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And watch Nate be an interim head coach somewhere else, and then he does good. Then I'll be right two times. Because, whatever, if the Pacers hire Stotts, I'll be right probably. If the Pacers don't, I'll be right probably. We'll see. I don't know. Sometimes I'm wrong, but with the Pacers, like, more often than not. Uh, usually I'm right, but... I mean, I was wrong about Nate, so... But, yeah. See you guys next time. Love on each other, as in, like, you know, tell each other they love. I don't know, like, who the person is, so... The fuck you doing? The fuck you doing? Yeah.